everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I am cooking a little fancified retro recipe for you. Today we're making steak Oscar. This is my take on a veal Oscar, which was the very first dish I ever had when my mom and dad took me to a fancy, fancy restaurant when I was 12 or 13 years old. This is the most heavenly, delicious dish I have ever eaten in my life, and I can't wait to show you how this all comes together. Today we're going to make a really awesome dish, one of my favorite dishes to get at a fancy steakhouse. This was one of the very first really classy meals I ever had when my mom and dad took us to our very first really classy five-star restaurant in Tucson, Arizona. It was called The Palomino. And I don't know if that restaurant is still there anymore. I also ate there for my prom and for several birthdays. But when I was around 12 or 13 years old, they took us there for someone's birthday or some special occasion, whether it was Father's Day. And I remember getting the veal Oscar. I no longer choose to eat veal because I don't agree with the way veal is raised. I do, however, love steak Oscar, and today that's what we're gonna share with you. You can choose to make this with any type of steak you like. Today we're gonna be using a top sirloin, grass-fed top sirloin. This is from ButcherBox. I've seasoned it with my steak seasoning. I'll leave a link down below. And we're gonna be cooking this on um, an indoor grill, but we wanna thank BSTY for sponsoring today's video and sending us the appliance. But this uh, steak Oscar is an awesome option if you are thinking of what to make for a romantic Valentine dinner, but you don't wanna break the bank going to a restaurant. This is super easy. We have our sirloin steak. You can use any cut of steak. You can use ribeye. We're gonna actually slice this steak after it's cooked all the way, and then we're going to serve it up. Um, an Oscar has crab meat, steamed or grilled asparagus, and hollandaise sauce. Now I've previously made the hollandaise sauce in advance. I have a really great recipe for how you can make that in the microwave. Uh, don't poo poo that until you try it because until you try making it in the microwave, you'll never make it another way, I promise. And we're gonna grill the asparagus off as well as the steaks. And then we're gonna build this all together and we're gonna make a beautiful romantic entree for your Valentine dinner. Okay, we've got this. I preheated this for a little while so it would come up to temperature so it would be nice and hot. I'm probably only going to do two steaks at a time in here just so there's plenty of room. I don't want to steam my steak. I want to grill it. So I have the grill pan in here and this is what comes with the unit. This is the BSTY multi-function cooker and this gives you the opportunity to have like an indoor grill. You can also um, do vegetables in here. You can you can actually steam things. There's a little well around the outside here. The grill portion is a little bit raised up and that gives you an opportunity to you know put a little liquid in there and if you want to steam some veggies um, that'll be easy for you to do or if you want to steam a piece of fish or some chicken breast. They offer some accessory pieces and I'll show you those in a little while just so you get some idea. Um, this has a four settings, so minimum means off, and then it's, it will cycle on and off. Um, there's a little light here that will come on. I believe it is on, but warm, low, medium, and high. I have mine set all the way to high because I want my grill really hot so that I can cook my steak. Look at that, that looks really nice. So I'm gonna let these cook on here until they're done. I'm going to cook mine to medium rare to medium, and that's going to be anywhere from 135 to 140 internal temperature when taken on an instant read meat thermometer. All right, our steaks are all grilled off. I've removed them. I did two at a time, and then I just set them over here to rest on this platter. Now they're gonna just rest, but I wanted to show you um, Look, this is just a little um, damp paper towel. I just wanted to show you guys, this really is nonstick. I was kind of impressed with it. Um, and I'm just gonna be grilling off my asparagus, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this little piece and just dump it in my sink. Um, just to get rid of those little gnarly bits and pieces so they don't burn and stick to my asparagus, so. Okay, so I have a few stalks of asparagus and I'm just gonna put them in here. I'm gonna hit this with a little, a little bit of water. And then this does come with a lid. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
put the lid right on there and we're just going to let those steam for a few minutes. I wanted to go over the uh, uh, accessory pieces that are also offered for this appliance. The BSTY multifunction cooker comes with what you see here. It comes with this grill insert. It's about two inches deep and it's removable. You should not put these in the dishwasher. They do recommend for um, prolonged life of your appliance that you go ahead and hand wash these. But as you could clearly see, they're going to clean up really easy. Yeah, they are non-sticks. They do have this option here. This is what they call the couples pan. You can do eggs or pancakes or little muffins in here. I thought it was cute. They sent it along as well. Um, they also have this flat griddle. You can obviously do just about anything and you could even do steaks in this. You could do, you could um, bake a cornbread in here if you wanted to, you know, put the lid on it. You could do one of those little jiffy cornbreads in here. That would be easy enough. You could, you could do just about anything. You could do a little chicken and rice casserole in here and it would take no time at all. Bacon. You can cook bacon in there, absolutely. This is called the deep pot and that actually would serve as a slow cooker. If you wanted to put a roast or a chicken in here, you could do that. And then you just put your lid on the top, set it and forget it. It's gonna have a little tiny vent on the one side and you'll be able to monitor that. But the other cool thing is if you put something that was maybe not to fill the whole thing, maybe it didn't kind of come over that top edge, you could actually layer this. You could cook something in the bottom and then you could steam something on top. And then you could easily cook two things at once. So that's entirely up to you. You can broil, you can grill as you saw us do the steak, you can steam, you could fry. If you wanted to fry in this one, you could put oil in here, heat it up and then fry in there. You could bake, you could definitely bake. You can fry bacon, you can do maybe a small ham, a, a smaller chicken, a smaller pot roast. This I think is really great if you're one or two people, maybe if you're someone in a dorm room, like I said, um, Maybe you'll have an RV or a camper. Maybe you're a traveling nurse. Traveling nurses, sometimes they go with their Instant Pot and their toaster oven, and they stay in one of those kind of uh, long-term stay hotels like a Hampton Inn or Springfield Inn where they have the little kitchenettes and stuff, but they don't often offer the appliances. So I know people who carry those along with them and it makes their life a lot easier. And then they also sent along this rack, which is nice because then you can use that uh, if you want to steam something in there. Like if you want to do some uh, steamed fish or steamed vegetable, then you'll have this rack. You can put it up and, uh, and it's going to keep it from kind of stewing in its own juices. So that is the BSTY multifunction cooker. All right, we have all of the components to make our, our steak Oscar and get our Valentine dinner all ready to go. So I've got my steak beautifully sliced. This steak tastes amazing. I cut the ends off and we tasted them. Um, this grass-fed beef is second to none. And I'll leave more information down below if you want to take a look. But we cooked this to a medium and that's exactly how we love it. We're going to go ahead and put over about three of these stalks of steam slash grilled asparagus. And then I have some of this claw crab meat. Don't be stingy. This really is what makes an Oscar style steak indulgent along with that hollandaise sauce that we made. If you would like more information on the hollandaise sauce, I will leave a link down below to my recipe. And now, finishing touch. We drape over this hollandaise sauce, and then you have an amazing old school steakhouse dish that you are totally going to love. The only other thing that I would add here, if you're not allergic, is just a little dash of cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper and hollandaise sauce go together like Forrest and Jenny. So that's always a lovely thing to add on top of your hollandaise. Now my hollandaise is kind of a hybrid hollandaise slash bernaise. I did not put any shallot and I also did not put any tarragon. Rick is not a fan, but I did add lemon juice, which is typically in holidays, as well as a couple teaspoons of white wine vinegar. Because the acid is really necessary here to cut through all the richness of the egg yolks, the butter, and that steak. Not to mention the crab meat. So that, my friends, is how you make a beautiful 
option for Valentine dinner, a steak Oscar that you can totally pull off, that is totally budget friendly, and that is totally delicious. Are you ready to taste it? If I have to. You do. I'm just gonna go for it right here. I'm gonna give you like the primo, the primo thing right here. A little piece of steak, some crabby, crabby goodness, a little piece of asparagus. Ready? Get a good bite. What do you think? A lot going on there. There is. It's really good. This definitely does not disappoint. It hits all the right notes. There's some acid in that hollandaise sauce. It's rich and creamy. That steak is perfectly cooked and seasoned. The asparagus is just tender crisp. And that crab meat, well, it's crab meat. And it adds exactly what it needs to to this dish. It's really good. It's super delicious and it's the perfect romantic evening dinner. There's not a lot of onion in here. There's hardly any garlic in here other than what's in the steak seasoning. It's just a, a lovely dish to present to whoever you're celebrating Valentine's Day with. I hope you give this steak Oscar a try. I also hope that if you're interested in the BSTY multifunction cooker, you'll go ahead and check out the link down below as well as uh, have a look at all of the accessories. I think this would be a really great option for someone who's living in a dorm, maybe a traveling nurse, maybe if you have um, a camper or an RV, this might be an option for you. It's a great little indoor grill. You can also do a few other things with it with the accessories and it's affordable. So go ahead and give it a, uh, give it a look, do some research, and if you think it's something that'll fit into your kitchen and your lifestyle, go for it. I'm just here to share with you. I'm not here to kind of be pushy with it. I'm just letting you know what this is all about. So I hope you'll give this a try and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.